let's look at strand trails. So uh, I just made a platonic sphere, um, brought it into a Bifrost graph, uh, and we're just going to make a very basic particle system. So basic uh, particle graph, explode that. Load. Right, source particles. Up at that. Going to turn off gravity, and I'm going to turn on lift forever. Uh, leave the speed. Uh, that's all right. So we get this. So they're all moving out. <coughs> And let's do a turbulence view, uh, turbulence influence, just to give it a bit of variation. So let's have a look at that. Moving around. Just turn down the drag a bit. Turn that up a bit. Um, let's add a bit more. Right. So, to create trails from points, um, there's a node. It is part of the Rebel Pack, so you need to have that installed. Um, it's called Trails. Part, create part of Trails. And you can see if it's got this R means it's a rebel pack one so if you haven't got that installed you need it installed um, and if I just do that and then I hit play we get that that's weird it work properly I'm going weird inside no it all works can we transfer particles um, and let's do so in the settings inside we've got start frame at one and that length of frames is going to be um, 16 so they're a little short ones so I'm going to make them the length of my timeline to begin with there we go I'm slowing down a bit because there's quite a lot of them once you get inside the ah yeah it's not working I didn't think it was working properly um, so let me just hide my because I thought for a minute I'd gone a bit mad but you can't really tell it here but let's do it with a lot less particles um, let's do it with one so you can see they're not quite working they're sort of coming up from this origin point um, and that's because it doesn't quite work when you're generating particles over time it only really works with a fixed number of particles and this is to do with the uh, strand offset we talked about before it hasn't got in here a way of updating that offset with new particles being created as far as I can work out so you get this sort of weird uh, origin connection on all of them so to sort of break that you have to basically say emit on frame one end on frame one and then you'll get a trail that doesn't have a weird origin thing and then you can just crank this up to a thousand and then you get that and What's quite good is it doesn't massively slow down now. I mean, slowing down a bit as it gets longer and longer. It's having to store all that information of the trails. Um, so, there they all are. We get some nice effects with that. Some weird, you know, strange tentacle sort of trails. Um, you can add the colour as well for the particles. So let's do that. If I make a color property, create 
color. Do the usual, just put color in there. I've always got caps on color. Uh, change the value to a float three. Let's just make them red to begin with. And then still all black, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> but we've got to tell this that we want to give that property to it. And we can do it here. So we can, at the moment, it's taking the point position and the point size as uh, a property. So the point size will dictate the thickness of the strand. Um, I just put a comma here and write color. And hit rewind. Mm, happening. Play. There we go, they're all red. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to sneeze. Oh, I'm sorry, sneezed. Um, and also we can do, uh, as we look for in particles, we can do a modifier. So a modifier influence. Um, we're going to do color. And we're going to do multiply. Set the value to a float three for color. And we're going to multiply the red by 0.2 and we're going to multiply these by point uh, 1 and this one's going to be 2. Um, to get this to work we actually just have to give them a bit of colour to begin with otherwise multiply multiplications on 0 is always 0 so nothing would happen. Um, put that in. So now when we do it, got to be on the right. There we go. So they're all going into um, <clears throat> the uh, they're all going blue very quickly. I wonder if you just do replace how quickly it does that by. You get quite nice effects. Do that by 0.1. So let's replace it by that color. And so you basically, I think you can have an end color, can't you? So if I did these, it's all blue. You can go red, 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 and then slowly get blue. And then you can do uh, change the rate down so it'll take longer. Red, 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 slowly getting purpley. And then <coughs> gonna get bluer over time. So you see that's pretty nice. Um, but what you can do all that, um, is you don't necessarily need to um, emit a particle system to get these to work. So let's do that. Um, and obviously to get these to render, we'd have to do the whole thing that we did with the other one, was setting the strand shape and doing uh, an Arnold one to get them to smoother if they're a bit jaggy. Um, should I do that now? Well, just follow what we did in the first tutorial. Uh, right, so in the next video I'll do how we can just create trails, but not from park systems, just from points on a mesh. Just that.